What is up everybody, Growing the Hobby, back at you with a brand new episode today. Today is going to be a recap, not a break, but a pretty cool recap of uh, some cards that I've pulled out of these boxes that you see before you today in the background. Um, pulled these recently, uh, within the last, oh, probably three months roughly, maybe two, three months. I did not break them on camera, wish I would have, uh, but... Nonetheless, I do want to recap the breaks that I pulled from them because I did get some really good cards. So we had a box of 1617. Uh, the cup was going for the Austin Matthews. Box of 1819. The cup going for the Pedersen. Elias, that is. 1920. Uh, Leaf in the game used hockey. And I picked up this bad boy right here at the bottom. 2019 Hockey Vault. Uh, Gold Rush. Three premium hits um, that were sealed up, uh, encased already in this box. Um, prices on these things were kind of all over the place. You know, the sixteen, seventeen, the cup. They go for around six, seven hundred dollars roughly now. The uh, eighteen, nineteen cup uh, purchased for ooh, a little over five hundred at the time. I got it when it first came out. Had it on pre-order. Uh, they're down a little bit now in price. Leaf in the game used hockey uh, is going to set you back about 130 or so. And finally, this Hockey Vault box. Uh, picked that up actually at Steel City Collectibles in the store. I believe I paid around 250 for it. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to make the background today the three cards I actually pulled out of the Hockey Vault. And then we'll get into the other uh, cards I pulled. So the three from the Hockey Vault. First up, we pulled from... 1516 Ultimate Collection. This Max Domi number four of five debut threads, uh, which is a patch, uh, quite a large patch too. So it's not not too bad. Again, these are already encased. They come sealed up in these little team bags. So we got that. Actually, these are going to be a little bit too. I have to actually stand these up. They're going to be a little bit too thick to uh, stand on the stands today. So we're actually just going to out of here with those. Uh, next one was pretty cool. It took me a second to figure out what I actually had. But this is a 2017 Leaf Sports Icons uh, number 2 of 10 Hockey Hall of Famers uh, for the Maple Leafs. Bill Gadsby, Alan Stanley. And this is a, a cut signature edition. So this is a on this side, we have a um, Bill Gadsby uh, cut signature from a check that he wrote. And on the reverse side, we have an Alan Stanley signature cut here from a, uh, a photo. Um, pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. I thought about getting more of this product because this is, this is kind of cool to be able to pull these historical things like this. But uh, nonetheless, that's card number two. Final card, my favorite card of them, as you guys can probably figure. From 2010-11, the Cup Hockey. A signature patch auto, number 16 of 35, on-card auto, of course, of Alex Ovechkin. With a sweet patch. Very sweet. And that's on card auto. Um, everything from the cup and oops, everything from the cup, uh, not so much in the game used. I can't uh, say that that is, but it, the cup is always going to be um, on card autos. So that's pretty sweet. So let's go ahead into what we pulled from uh, 1920 Leaf, where you get five premium hits per box. I'm not going to dwell on these too long, but these are pretty cool. Um, I thought about buying more of this product as well. So the first card I pulled, number 10 of 25, Brett Hall, Locker Room Collection. So we got eight uh, pieces of, I believe these are all, let's see, Locker Room Collection. Yep, Game Use Memorabilia. All pieces of Game Use Memorabilia from Brett Hall. This is pretty cool. This is a, a Legends of the Garden, Ray Bork, number one of three. This is actually a piece 
of a seat. I think it says on the back here, you've received a Legends of the Garden card. Uh, in the front of this card is a piece of Boston Garden Stadium seat of Ray Bork. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Next up, number 4 of 12. All-time top 20 fantasy seasons. This is 2000-2001. Uh, Patrick Waugh. Number 4 to 12, this is going to be Game Use Jersey, I believe, from 2000-2001. Game Use Memorabilia, yeah. And the year in the background coincides with when this jersey is from. So this is 2000-2001 Game Used uh, Patrick Waugh jersey. The two bigger hits, uh, at least in my opinion, of the box, we got a one of two. Paul Coffey, Auto Patch. Uh, and this, again, is going to be game used, obviously. Game used memorabilia. Uh, when Paul Coffey was on the Edmonton Oilers. Number one of two. Pretty cool. That's a sticker auto, though, that's there. Nonetheless. And the final card out of there. Uh, and what actually is really the coolest by far. Uh, it's called a Vintage Memorabilia 8. Card number one of three. We got eight pieces of classic vintage uh memorability game worn try and get this to focus up as best i can for you guys but uh, we got george armstrong bill barilko uh, turk broda hap day joe primo charlie conacher ace bailey and tim horton and these are pretty sweet um very old school stuff some of these you can really tell the old old leather there this looks like some old leather up here as well with the hap day Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. That's some real hockey history right there. All right, guys. Let's move on to the cup. So we'll start with uh, oldest first, 16-17. My quest for Matthews. Spoiler alert. Uh, Matthews did not happen. However, I did pull a great card, uh, which I'll show you guys here momentarily. So first I pulled a base. Uh, you get six cards uh, per box. Uh, no redemptions uh, from that box that I pulled here. So we got number 125 of 249, a base Roman Yossi. Another base card, 230 of 249, P.K. Subban. The spot that would have had Matthews probably, our rookie auto patch is going to be Oscar Sundquist. Uh, now with the St. Louis Blues still, uh, 162 of 249. Still pretty cool. A signature renditions of Jewel Erickson Eck with a gold marker signature on there. I'm trying to show that to you guys. Mind the glare. I do not believe it's, no, it is not um, numbered. Nonetheless, pretty cool. And then we pulled a Mark Giordano signature materials number 29 of 99 with a pretty sick patch. Uh, nice little four color patch there in the background. Nice on-card signature. Pretty sweet card. I do like that one. And the hit of the box by far. Um, uh, and again, I'm going to give a shout-out here, actually, to uh, Ziri11, Ziri Gaming. Um, on one of his biggest, if not biggest, cards, I believe, that he's ever broke and pulled. Uh, from the same 1617, uh, the cup, he pulled a Connor McDavid uh, 4 of 15, uh, quad Foundations uh, signature jersey card, uh, which is worth quite a bit. I had that in the back of my head when I broke this. If I couldn't get the Matthews, I was hoping for McDavid. Well, I didn't get the McDavid. I told you already I didn't get the Matthews, but I did pull a Quad Foundations autograph card and an even lower number one than the McDavid. Number two of five Quad Foundations autograph. Steven Stamkos, the Stammer. Pretty sick card, and I have this sleeved up, as you guys see, because I debated about sending this out to PSA as well. The thicker cards are tough to get good grades on because they're so easily damaged, but I did a very, very thorough review of this card, and I cannot find any flaws. So I am uh, I've decided to send this out to PSA for a grade. Such a low-numbered card and great card. Uh, has some definite value to this. But uh, pretty sweet. 
all game worn material there, not photo worn or anything like that. Pretty sweet card. All right, this year's box, 1819 the cup, what I pulled for myself. I don't believe I have any normal base cards, which is a nice change. I pulled the Team Canada card. I guess it was my supposed base card. Uh, Team Canada rookie throwback, number 31 of 149, Darnell Nurse. Pretty sweet. I've seen a lot of these uh, exact cards with the McDavid rookie. I wish it would have been that, but hey, Darnell Nurse, I'll take it still. Pretty cool uh, throwback. The RPA, Dominic Cahoon, who's been bounced around more than a soccer ball this year. Uh, came over from Chicago as part of the Ole Mata deal. Played for the Pens here for uh, a little over half the season, and now he's up in Buffalo so that we could get back uh, Connor Sherry and Evan Rodriguez. But uh, nonetheless, 228 of 249 with a really sick patch, quite honestly. That's a really cool patch in there. I love that one. And next up, probably the hit of the box. Actually, I'm going to save that for the end because I think that is the hit of this box. Um, all right, so we got a 12 of 33 Cup Trios uh, jersey for the St. Louis Blues. David Braun, Ryan O'Reilly, and Braden Shen. Pretty cool card. All uh, game used. A draft day, uh, non-auto card. Rookie draft day, class of 19. Michael Rasmussen, number 159 to 249. These are actually both kind of close to the hits of the box. I think the lesser one of the two I'll show first, though. Uh, it's going to be the Hall of Fame card, an autographed one on card of Ray Bork. Not numbered, but hey, it's an on card. Pretty sick and big auto of Ray Bork. Let me make this little manufactured kind of patch in the background. For some reason, they're extremely off-centered, um, and I noticed in most of them they are <laughs> off-centered. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not, but I think they could have been centered a little better. Anyway, Ray Bork, pretty sweet card. And the final one, the hit of the box, number 35 of 35, scripted swatches, Brock Besser. Pretty sweet auto right on uh, swatch of the old jersey right there. And that's game worn, of course. But that's going to be our hit of the box. And the last little thing I want to show you guys, actually, before we go, it's not pictured here, but I did get into a group break of 1819 the Cup, actually through uh, DA Card World, David M's uh, Card World. I bought into a large break, um, a 10 case break, as a matter of fact, of 1819 the Cup. It was pretty expensive. They ran them off. Uh, your team, I bought one team, they would random off your team, one team per case, and then randomize it again to the next case, and on and on and on. So you could pull up to 10 different teams, um, and you get whatever cards you pull uh, for your team. This is an expensive break. It was oh, pretty close to, I'd say, around $750, if I recall. I got a total of seven cards out of it. Some people got really lucky. Um, I'd say I was just kind of eh, right in the middle. But the cards I pulled are pretty cool. Um, so let's get into those real quick. First card is going to be a, a Rookie Patch Auto Gold, which is pretty sweet. Number three of 24 for my Penguins, Zach Aston Reese with a sick patch and lovely on-card auto. Again, that's the gold version, so lower numbered. Uh, pretty cool. Next up, we did a... Uh, from the Exquisite Collection, an auto rookie patch, number 40 of 79, Drake Batherson. So that was also a pretty good hit. I was kind of glad that, uh, for the most part, these hits at least weren't like base cards and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Another RPA. This time, uh, number 75 of 249, a goaltender of your Florida Panthers, well, for the future goaltender, Samuel Montebo. Bob has it pretty locked up for right now down there, but uh, Samuel Montebo is in the wings waiting. 
And hey, let's stick with the Florida Panthers here. We got number 81 and 99. Enshrinements, Henrik Borkstrom. And this was actually a redemption card, but I did receive the redemption in the mail uh, from Upper Deck. I did get a Pedersen, not the right one, but hey, still pretty sweet, and I will definitely take it. Number 118 of 249, Marcus Pedersen, rookie auto patch. And the final two cards, the best two cards in my opinion. We'll start with a number 24 of 33, color-coded. Joe Sackick. Pretty sweet. And our last card. It's numbered 7 and 9, but it's technically a 1 and 1 if you think about it. Notable nameplates Nathan McKinnon. Big Nate. Pretty sweet. He's got three ends in his name, so I'm not sure which end this is in his last name, but uh, that's why it's seven and nine. It's his last name. Pretty sweet. One of the better guys that you can get for the uh, notable, notable nameplates this year. Definitely happy with that. And again, technically, it's a one on one. All right, guys. And that's going to do it uh, for this recap of what I pulled uh, so far from this year of uh, my cup breaks in. Leaf in the game used, as well as this uh, hockey vault thing down here. So again, like, subscribe, and share. And click that little notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video. We're going to be doing a ton of videos. Lots of inventory, lots of cool breaks to come. Lots of cool stuff from the PC to show you guys. Contests coming up. Throwback nights. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, have a great day or night, guys, wherever you're at. And I will see you guys soon.